In this question, we're told that lithium phosphite has the formula Li3PO4. Our goal is going to be to calculate first the molar mass of lithium phosphite and then to find the percent composition by mass of lithium phosphite. So our first step is to go to our periodic table and find the relative atomic mass, or in other words, the molar mass of each of our elements, lithium, phosphorus, and oxygen. So here's lithium, here's phosphorus, and here's oxygen. So we're looking for the relative atomic mass, which is the small number at the bottom of the square. So for lithium, we have 6.97. For oxygen, we have 16.00. And for phosphorus, we have 30.97. So let's type those in. For lithium, we had 6.97. For phosphorus, we had 30.97. And for oxygen, we had 16.00. Okay, great, so we've got our molar mass of each element individually. Now we need to think about how many atoms of each we have in the compound in one formula unit. So for lithium, we've got three of those because we've got a subscript three afterwards. Phosphorus, we only have one of those. Oxygen, we've got four of those. And now we need to find the total molar mass of each element in the compound. So lithium is 6.97 for the molar mass, but we have three of them, so we're going to need to multiply that by three to find our total molar mass, and the same for phosphorus and oxygen. So putting those in our calculator, for lithium we have 20.9. For phosphorus, we have the same, 31, because we're just multiplying by one. And for oxygen, we have 64. Okay, wonderful. So we know the total molar mass of each of our elements in the compound. Now we need to find the total molar mass of everything together to find our molar mass of lithium phosphate. So we're gonna add up the molar masses of our three components, and that's gonna get us a molar mass of 115.9 grams per mole. So we can check that off now. So, so far, this question has been identical to a molar mass question from the previous unit. Our next step is to find our percent composition by mass of lithium phosphate. So what that means is we're gonna look at each element in the compound we're gonna look at the mass of that element in the compound and find what percent of the compound is made up of that element based on the mass. So to do that, we're gonna use an equation from the reference sheet. So here's our equation. The percent composition by mass. Percent composition of X is mass of X divided by the mass of the compound times 100. So our percent composition of x is the mass of x divided by the mass of the compound times 100%. So here, the mass of x that we're going to use is the total molar mass of that element in the compound. And the mass of the compound is going to be the molar mass of the compound. So for lithium, our percent of lithium is going to be the molar mass of lithium in the compound, which is 20.9, divided by the molar mass of the compound, which is 116, times 100%, which gets us an answer of 18.0%. Let's check that off. So our compound is 18% lithium by mass. Now let's get our percent phosphorus. So we need the molar mass of phosphorus in the compound, which is 31, divided by the mass of the compound, which is 116, multiplied by 100. That gets us 26.7%. So let's check that off. 
So that means our compound is made up of 26.7% phosphorus. Finally, let's check for oxygen. Our percent oxygen is the molar mass of oxygen in the compound, which is 64, divided by the total molar mass of the compound, which is 116, times 100%. That gets us 55.2% oxygen. So the, the percent composition by mass tells us based on the mass of all the lithium in the compound, for example, and the mass of the whole compound, how much of it is lithium. And it doesn't matter how much of the compound you have. You could have a really small sample. You could have a really big sample. The mass of each thing will change depending on the size of the sample, but the percent composition will always be the same for a given compound.